I like this. <laughs> My name is Joshua Konkanko. I come from Cameroon. I'm here in Tamera, uh, an eco village in the south of Portugal, to talk about a project I have developed in Cameroon. And this project is called the Ndani for Permaculture Eco Village. Um, it's based in Bafut, in the northwest region of Cameroon. Cameroon right now is going through a crisis. We have got a genocide that has been going on for two, three years now. And uh, we have the highest number of refugees and uh, internally displaced people. So my concern is what to do with these young people and generally the homeless youth of Africa. Maybe not it's an example, but also this is happening all over the world. So one of the things I learned in Tamera is that what is happening somewhere also affects the rest of the world. So how does this affect? We have a problem of migration now. And even the problem of climate change, what is happening when villages are burned down and farmers can no longer go to the farm and there is hunger, there is now the environment suffers, the people suffer. So how can this project help? By collaborating with projects in the north, we find that there are resources that can help refugees, for example. But how do we do it? Because refugees cannot move to the north. We've developed a very interesting project called Blueprint for the Future in Tamera, which can be replicated and also combining our experience of what actually happens from bottom-up development. We find that we have a possibility to propose the, to the world that the new culture has to be based on the experiences that are working already in the world, not necessarily from the top-down system that has created these problems. So I'm going to talk about the novelties that we have developed through this project. And it's basically youth exchange. By bringing young people to the north, to the south, and south, young people from the south to the north, we are doing a cross of, a, a sort of cross fertilization of education. And these young people are developing their own pathway into the future. So if you connect this to the Friday uh, protest movements, and you connect this to the other environmental movements that are saying that we need a change of system. We are answering the question of what are we moving into? What is the system that we want that will work for everybody? And this is uh, what I find, that we will build trust and build bridges through this project, then we are in effect creating a better world, which is the object of the Ndani for Permaculture Eco Village. Thank you.